Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So today, we are going to be featuring that person on your screen. His name is Ralston Heat, but he's popularly known as Rally. Rally, he was born on May 8, 1972. So, Rally, he will be 51 years old on his next birthday. He's from Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Rally, he's the father of children, including daughters. We are told that Rally, he owns a house at Fort Williams in the parish of Westmoreland. Rally has been the caretaker for a property at Landailo in the parish of Westmoreland for the past seven years. That property has a house on it and it is owned by a man living overseas. That man, he has a twin brother and the twin brother's family to include his wife and his 20-year-old stepdaughter. They are living in England. The 20-year-old stepdaughter, she was born in England and she has never ever been to Jamaica until Sunday, January 8th. So, like I told you, Raleigh, he has been employed at this property for the past seven years. And Raleigh is a father. Over the years, the property owner and his twin brother, they developed a level of trust in Raleigh. Now, the twin brother's family, they came to Jamaica to spend two weeks and they stayed at the house at Landailo. The same house where Raleigh was the caretaker. The 20-year-old girl, she saw Rally as a father figure because of how her stepfather related to him. Rally, he would be allowed to take her to Savannah Lamar to run errands and come back home. Now, the family, they were supposed to leave Jamaica on Sunday, January 22, to go back to England. So, the 20-year-old girl, she wanted to go into the town of Savannah Lamar to have a little fun on her last night as also to pick up some stuffs. Saturday night, January 21. It is said that Raleigh, he took her into the town of Savannah Lamar. He also took her to a pool bar where she drank some alcohol that she had never had before. Raleigh, he took her home about 2.30 the Sunday morning. And instead of protecting her, Raleigh, he sexually assaulted her in her drunk state. When this 20-year-old girl came to the realization of what happened, she ran into her mother's room and reported what Raleigh just did to her. Now, Raleigh, he has been on the run since then. He's wanted by the Westmoreland police. Now, if you have seen Raleigh or you know where he's hiding, please may I beg you know, inform on him. I'm going to be playing some voice notes of Raleigh confessing and begging for forgiveness <laughs> but first remember to hit on the love button also if you are over here and you have not yet subscribed please hit on the subscribe button now listen to rally in his own words listen to this yes this is how, how this thing started we were at the house so when they came I take the vehicle, went up my phone, come back at the time I on the phone with you. And run up from get some guy bring back and then she said she want to go to the market to get something. So I told her at the time the market closed so we could get it uptown. You know, so I come back and bring back the guy them to from half hour along the cane field, come back and then she said if we can me, you can get off the for the charger, get her a charger or something. So she, when we reached down there, she didn't have any cash. So she said she had her card, but she couldn't get the internet to load it. Cash never loaded, so we went up to Harare and get some internet there. Went back down to the machine, she get off $1,500. And then we walk, go by the charger, and then we say we're going to leave. So she said, oh, she would want to play some pool. So we went over the pool bar, went round at the back where the most stable is. 
So when we went there, now she stand up there. But the guy them were playing, now they is some professional. So same time the girl, the girl look cross now, and the girl see her and. They both they're talking so I might tell them say you know this guy we are playing professional and whatsoever so same time we say we're gonna get something to drink so we say you know we're gonna drink a dragon so we both went up to the bar and my ex her now she got a drink she said oh she not gonna drink nothing like that she gotta drink the Cernafice and Red Bull and so we say all right then since I first ran a five and Red Bull, let's go. And we st- right at the bar, the girl gave gave me some ice and things. So she p- opened the back of the Serena Fice and she poured it and drink. And then I take a drink out of it. And we were there and then she took up the background walk across and we come across where the guy them play the pool. So same time my brother pop up there and then the guy them when we didn't notice we come cut some kin. So me and them did the attack and we did they a drink and she did a drink the serena face and she pour out another flask, get some ice. And we were drinking till the girl was there as well and them did the attack and she I watch most of the time she watch a pool game because she's more interested in the pool. So she watching the pool game and then after that she go across and the seat sit down right at the bar and still a focus on the pool game and thing. Then she end up and come across and she and the girl there. So we did there more most of my time I just did I talk to the guy them and what time I gotta pick them up and whatsoever. So they was there drinking. So same time because them did I drink rum. They was drinking rum there. Mm-hmm. So I did it now and then the girl said if I not drink anything more, so I turned to her and said, No, no, I'm not gonna drink that more because I kind of feel like a tipsy like you know. Because you know I mean, I really may drink one one, one, one jug and I want two. But you know, sometimes when you drink those drinks, you will drink it, you know, and then they creep up on you. You know, some never feel, I never feel like I couldn't drink anything more. So, I didn't know, I said, you know, I look at the time. And I said, we are going to leave. But same time, the girl turned and I said, she did have a drive, but the drive never come for her if you drop her home. So, I tell her, I said, she did have to ask she, you know, if. I could have drop her up. You know, if she had great for us to drop her when she had got drop her off a fair yard and go up and same time when we have a leave out, she said if me I come if if she would have want come back at the pool bar and I said no it, you know I better go home now. So we went <coughs> and drop off a girl and thing before we even leave the leave the bar she the girl walk off and then she did stop with some other girl. Well, them that play, them they right at the pool bar, them was drinking as well too, so. She was there, and thing. Cause only thing I remember when we had drink there, and the girl go for one Kingston, one, one of the same flowers of Kingston there, and ask her if she want to drink, but we know she drink out of the Kingston. And then we did and said, oh, that's it. When everything finish, we can go. You know, so I believe me live right there. So just for a minute and go over the other side and come back there. Come they go talk to one guy right at the other bar and then we come back there. Not too far away, you can see. So when we did you know she had talked to the other girl, them I think them had do some exchange on but at three of them was there. And said that we say, you know, we're ready. And then we start, we leave out and walk go over because the vehicle was parked over Juicy Beef. So the travels walk over there. Then we leave and drop off the girl. She and the girl talk. I don't know what they was talking about. But they there and do a little hug and thing. And then we leave, go up. So when we leave, go up now. When we go up now, we never, we never feel so, so good, you know, so me. 
try to make some soap and same time she said she what then we can hot up some yeah so i put both of them in the microwave and we sit down there and drink and at the same time she said she wanted to go lie down so she went in the, the dining you know and same time biggie daughter she was in there and both of them lie down on the bed and then me finish my soap and head out because I never feel so good in myself. So I just head out and go into the bed. You know. Not really I check the time, but I know say the time we reach up there when we leave off at 11, I go to 12. You know. Then we come back. Then me lie down. And from there, I don't know if she, she, I think she went, must went to the bathroom. So that's why when she coming back from the bathroom, she end up in the room, you know. And then I feel the present and I get up and when I look around, you know, see, but it's like this thing where I was drinking it creeping up. So I just feel no when I just find myself on top of she and we start to get out a proposal and thing, you know. And even maybe they may wonder what, what, what the hell is wrong, you know, you know. And then, I mean, remember when she get up now and then, I think she headed back to the bathroom, but when I get up now, head, head out now and look and try to go to the bathroom when I realize that she end up in the, in the room and I go in and I just open the door and try to you know because I hear the talking so I just try to see what's going on and then I realize uh, but I never really know what really going on in there I never really know what she said so I go in there to adjust things but it never get that far because you know my mom did kind of you know when she hears, she gets so, so I just there standing and the same time I go and things just get out of proposal right in the room. So I, I know I'm sorry for what, what I have done, you know, because I should be the one to protect her and I ask in she for apology and forgive me. You know, because I know, you know, when when a person is, you know, things done and you get traumatized, you know, you know, it's hard, it's, it's so hard, you know. So I ask in forgiveness from she and her mom because, you know, I don't know if even when she was there with the girl, if God she bring fear Kingston from over the other side. I think she did have it on a different table and she bring it weird. So I don't know if if she do any tampering or not, but I know just that what I did because I, I don't really drink even strongly kind of, you know, like that. You know, so when I started and I don't pour anything, yeah, and she can tell you, and that's how everything go because it's not did a planting where did in my mind, but I so sorry I get your mess up call it because it shouldn't be. And I just asking you please from the bottom of my heart if you can forgive me. Please I asking you and your mom. Please is you and I know I done something so wrong. So I just asking you, please, because even from that time, I know the feelings and how I let down all of you to it. So I just asking you, please, please, if you can forgive me, this is coming from the bottom of my heart. And if I get this chance, I will hold on my head like a stick. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't look over it. I know I done something wrong. So 
I just asking you and asking you, mom, because you are so good to me. And even Alan and Jane and, and Roland, please forgive me. I just asking you, please, I'm begging you. This is coming from the bottom of my heart. I don't know. I know I wrong. So please call it it's just you. I know how you have the feelings is. Yes, because everything what go down, I be the one to blame because I should not ever think of driving out that night. I should just forget about it. So I'm so sorry about all what happened. You know, and I just ask you, please, please forgive. Please forgive me. Because I should be the one make everything just just forget about it and just stay you know even if you even say that happened and I know you know things gotta move on that time I just I shouldn't be out just call it a deal and just stay home please if you all can forgive me I'm begging you, and this is where you call it. Please, I'm asking you. Please, I know, you know, get things messed up. So I just asking you. From even from that time out, do I feel just so low down? And you are the one who lifted me up. I don't know what next to do. If you even want me to come in front of you and stop and beg you, I will. But I know I should dare to make sure everything okay with you. You know, and you know I would never think of I would never think of to put something to like jokes to hurt you. But I know I just get that carry away, you know, and I just ask him, please, please, if you can forgive me, please, I'm asking you. I don't know. Because you, you are so good, you are so good to me, you are so. So I just ask him. I apologize to know I get to this level. I can't keep up, can't keep up for this. Yeah, if one time when, when we turn, cause we turn a focus to talk to the guy, them, but them, they right cross from the ways. And I remember one night time the girl walk up to me and he say, if me have any change, I mean, I said, no, I'm not having a change. And he said, oh, like you don't want change to buy some like weed or something. And I said, no, I don't have any change. And then she walked back. So I don't know if, so I would have to ask she, no, if she and she, if she didn't even get no weed pertaining, you know, but, you know, sometimes when you focus on something else and, they are there to talk, you know, and they really want to hear what they have to say. So, I would have to ask if he did get enough that, but just clearing my part, you know. And I'm so sorry if you know what the level where me go with, our, with your colleague. So, I'm so sorry. And please, please, if you can forgive me, I'm not not the person this moment I should be but please I'm asking you I'm just taking this from the bottom of my heart so if you can accept my apology so sorry it reached this level please I'm asking you please <sighs> I don't know how, how, but when you're wrong, 
you cannot get right and I know I wrong I wrong with you please I'm asking you blessed love everybody